Calvary greetings once again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah, I like this our intro, like it's to give me like vibe. Like anyway, you hear Calvary, just know that it's us. Mm. Like once. We're gonna trademark it. Yeah, yeah, we should. We mm. should. We have, we have, we got tiff it, we have to <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll bring your <laughs> <laughs> anyway. This topic is quite exciting. My name is JM and this is Apostle Mavi. And my week was normal. Walk, 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 walk. It was just there. I give glory to God that I did not encounter any accident. Nothing happened. Any, nothing bad thing happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> but I did not have money. This is the week that I became so broke. Like, broke. If you shake me, trum, 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 even one coin will not come out. But the Lord is going to restore me back. Amen. Somebody shout to believe in Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> I just started, George. I think I had the vibe for mm, all of For those. ginger. For ginger. Yes. Before pastor Gen come in, hype, hype man pastor. Mm, not so, not so. <laughs> not so. so, guys, today our topic is very relatable. It's so relatable that we have people that have had experiences and they've spoken to us. So, this topic is quite important and delicate and sensitive, but we have to iron it. Now, this is the topic. I think my married pastor is in love with me. Hallelujah. Let me repeat myself. <laughs> I think my married pastor is in love with me. Mm. This is the Wild Podcast, your number one gospel entertainment podcast on the internet. Don't touch that dial, kindly subscribe. So, so this is like um, a topic where we get to see the church divided into two. We see the people that actually that are the followers of the pastor, and we see the people that are like, oh, okay, I accept that the pastor is human, he can fall short of the glory of God, this can happen. So most times when stuff like this come up in the church, the church always have that division. That people that walk towards the pastor, like, we stand by you. This girl is lying. You did not do it. You will know all of this stuff. And in the Nigerian space, in Africa, in short, the world at large, we've seen um, stories and scandals like this come up. I think the recent one was for Houston, Hillsong pastor, the founder and pastor. He had to step down. He had all of these accusations, allegations on him, and it was a bit dirty. You know, it's it's a dirty topic. It's a dirty thing that happens to the um, body of Christ. And we tend to now ask ourselves, why? How? How did we get here? Mm. How is my married pastor in love with me? I feel like that's not love. It's actually lost. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because he has his wife, he has his family, he has everything going for himself, he has a ministry. But he somehow just opened the back door for the enemy to come in and then the enemy is blowing <laughs> in his ear. And then you just see this very fine little vocal that is singing and then your eyes now doing turn on you, turn on you, turn on, turn on, turn on. Before you know, you have started calling the sister. Before you know, you look so good. You me. Don't call me sad. Don't call me yeah, daddy. Don't call, don't, call uh, me. Are you? don't call me. Do you understand? So it, it just take one, one mistake, one mistake of just leaving the back door open and then the enemy will just walk in. Mm. You know, you see, this topic is very sensitive and I'm trying to be very careful with my words. Like, no, no, so no. Mm-hmm. Very they carry you. Exactly. <laughs> 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 so that, you know, I don't call anybody name. I don't say <laughs> My mind pastor is in love with me. But then, it's actually the topic. It's not like literally, but the topic. So yeah, Mavi, what do you think? Have you had oh, well. experiences where your pastor, she's a pastor's child, how will her father be in love with that? I mean... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I've been in church all my life, so you know stuff happened. But you know, it's common. It's common, and like she said, in Nigeria, it's it's dirty. It's really dirty, and nobody's going to take your side, especially if you are the lady. Mm. So for your own good, run, mm. run, because eventually we want you. We say all manner of things. We do, 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 do. But when the thing gets dirty, mama. No, they will do all they can in their they power to cover yeah, they themselves. The you understand? And his people and his loyal, um, himself and his loyalists will definitely play dirty. They'll cover up 
every single thing. You heard stories of all the scandals. Mm-hmm. We don't need to mention names right now, but you see how it all played out. Everybody believes it's always the fault of the lady. Yeah, of course. They believe you are the seductress. They believe you are the you are at fault. So mm-hmm. even when you are the victim, everybody feels like you are the predator. Even when you are the prey. Do you understand? Yeah. So it's always good we, you know, talk about these things and create a safe space for ourselves. It happens. They will definitely ask you. They will definitely disturb you. Oh, you're fine. Your beautiful smile. Mm-hmm. Maybe yes, yes. Oh, don't call me daddy. Uh, just run, Nancy. Mm-hmm. Run. Remove, remove yourself. Right? Remove yourself. Remove, remove yourself. So when all those things start coming in, start coming in, start coming in. Of course, if your pastor is single, you could ask, yo, bro, what are we doing? Are we a thing? If he tells you, okay, fine, we're thin or stuff, and you guys can, you know, waste your time. Oh, sorry, you guys can spend time <laughs> talking to one another and all. But if you tell him and he's, he's not, there's no way forward, Omo, don't waste your energy, don't waste your emotional energy, don't waste nothing, don't waste your time. Yeah. Just remove yourself because it will eventually be something else. That's why I see a lot of them, they toast almost half of the girls and later you start singing, seeing the single ladies leaving then some people will be like ah ah this girl yeah she has left the church mm, they don't know all these children no. of nowadays know. you know all of that will come up they will know happen but for your own good place safe stay away far far away if you are thinking that um, this man don't they eye me this man don't they toast me hey. and if you yourself you are looking for something I beg he's somebody's husband hmm. Don't be a husband snatcher. Especially if the wife is not a prayerful person. Ah, you are going to be caused. Yeah, they will, set, for the, see, they will set that your wig on fire. I'm telling you, you and your entire generation forever will be cursed. Mm-hmm. So, Ron, even if you're not at fault, the wife will not know that you're not at fault. The wife will not know that it's a husband that carries bigger than come and be toasted. Even if you. she knows, these women are out to cover for their husband. Yeah, it's still dead to do us true. part. You see, these men are callous. These men, they have respect from their congregation, from their wives, from the choir. There's nothing you will say, even if you bring live video mm-hmm. of this man trying to push you all on your body, they will deny it. There's nothing. Pump and clear, they will deny it. I'm not sure you've heard of any lady that has won any case against any pastor. Mm. That the pastor moved on to her, or the pastor deceived her. Yeah. You can't win this case, sister. We're not saying a time will not come that we sisters would be able to win this case and come out of it. We're saying that. Be able to dictate it from on when time. it starts, I'm from the beginning. Mm. From that foundational stage where he's having those filthy comments at you, those inappropriate calls by 10 p.m., 11 come p.m. Come and see me in my hotel. Or come and see me in my hotel or in hotel lounge. You can meet your, hotel, meet your pastor in the church. I don't know what people are going to do. I don't know. Hotel, What's the need for Or the go to his house. Go to his house when his wife is there. Like, when he's having all, doing all of those, you know, stuff, uh, don't call me uh, pastor, don't call me daddy, don't call, call me by my name, Kunle. Kunle. Hey, if your name is Kunle, I'm sorry, I just use that as an example. <laughs> call me by my name, Kunle. That's where it gets very, very tricky. And the ones that actually have these whole spicy words, and not even those young ones that are maybe in their late mm, 30s. They're the respectable ones. Those 50 something. 50 something to 60. Hey, those ones that once they stand on the pulpit and preach the gospel, the half of the congregation will be crying as something. Mm, yeah. They're the ones that have anointing on their head. And then you'll not be confused. See, this man will put you in a confused state. Like, you are confused. Maybe it's a devil. Maybe mm. this man is not serious. Maybe it's me. Yeah. Maybe something I'm wearing. Am I guilty? Yeah. What's Maybe it's my hair. Me? You're not say, okay, let you stop wearing maybe those fine, fine gowns. Maybe your, your gowns are just too flamboyant. Let you just start wearing normal clothes. Mm. And then he's still moving. Sister, it's not you. It's not you. It's not you, my dear. You are innocent. He's the enemy that the brother or the pastor allowed to come inside the back door. That's not this. It is not you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is AYL TV, your number one gospel entertainment show on the internet. We post exclusive gospel gist, content, stories, news, 247 on our channel. Please do well to subscribe, like, share with family and friends, and we post content for every age group. I know you've heard rumors that editing videos at Adobe Premiere Pro is difficult. I thought so too, not until I attempted it myself. Now, it's a piece of cake. So I understand what you're going through. That is why I've created this five module basics on video editing using the Adobe Premiere Pro software. So what are you waiting for? You too can become a professional video editor. Just click on this link below to begin.
Mm-hmm. So what you need to do first, first to oh, ask God for guidance. Mm. Next thing, after you have prayed, you have kabash, leave. Run. Run. They're not going to say And when we it. say leave, we don't mean that literally leave immediately. You can, maybe if you're in the choir, you can reduce the amount of time you get to, to, to come in to contact with the pastor. Yes, exactly. With the, pastor, yeah. the, the time you get to interact with the pastor, reduce that time. And if he's still moving at you, change your number. If he's still finding a way, leave the church. Hmm. There are 1,021 churches. I mean, leave living, church. living faith have churches at every bus stop, every stop. You can enter any living faith church, any uh, um, Christ the King church, True. any other because church. would have said you should report it, but the truth is even if nobody, you report it, nobody is going to be on your my side. My dear, let me even break your heart. Even your parents, hmm. they'll find it they're hard most to believe likely, you. They're not. most likely to not believe you. Yeah. Even your close friends, and especially if that pastor has high anointing on that mm. pastor's heads and, and hands. Like he has yeah. influence in the society, in the church. And in that, that your full church down to the headquarters. Nobody. My Nobody. Dear. Nobody's going to believe you. So it's good you run away for your day life. Exactly. So that's how you react when all of these stuff comes. So you, you, you. you need to be sure that this pastor likes you, like he, he's moving on to you. Not like he's liking you because you're just he sees that you are spiritual and he wants to help you grow. You know, those things no, can be confused. Of course, there confused. are ways you can know yeah, because they could be confused if he starts together. calling you at inappropriate time, yeah, you are, you are a good girl, you love God, you are innocent. But it's not everybody. The, the word are spoil. Let's mm. be frank with ourselves. So many people have actually fallen victim mm-hmm. innocently. They'll yeah. be like, the pastor will just call and say, oh yeah, come and meet me in my hotel room or I want to eat so, so, so. It's not bad. Once you bite the fruit, you it's not bad to come and, you know, see him or bring food for him or something. But most times they take advantage of you and nobody will believe. So don't be mumushous again. Let's let's just tell ourselves the truth. Let's tell ourselves the truth. When your pastor call you and say, oh yeah, come and see me in my hotel room or buy water for me, bring it to my or bring fruit. Um, or don't go alone. Go, go with your friend mm-hmm. that is a guy or go with your brother mm-hmm. if you have any. Just make sure you all sure go Carry four people from your choir. Every pastor don't know choir members. Daddy, we came to give you what yeah, now. Be smart. Be smart about be it. Smart. Don't don't Come and be don't be in his office alone. If 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 possible, don't just avoid triggers. Avoid 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 places with bad men. Really, that's just the thing. When he calls you at wrong times, when he start talking, ah, you know all these things. Why we why we don't be mumu. This that's why it's Christian sister to Christian sister. You may be innocent. Maybe you don't used to watch an Hollywood film, <laughs> so you don't know how things are going. So we are telling you, yeah. when something is not straight again, mm. or more, yeah, run. Because know. they always target people that are genuinely innocent. That's yeah. the truth. So they any, manipulate you and gaslight yes. you to the end. So any girl, they see that ah, this one don't open eyes more. They will not want to. But the one they see is so innocent. That's the one they target. Because yeah. they know, number one, you are not crafty. And mm-hmm. you won't be able to even, you know, detect on time and all of that. So be wise. Avoid alone times avoid odd times and odd moments calling and calling and calling for what for what like, you don't need all of that like why is your pa- you are not your pastor's special assistant mm-hmm. you know it's you're not okay special spa you're not you're not the choir director you're not even if you are pastor um, just why run. is he calling you by eleven thirty five pm why Okay, maybe it's your spiritual father. You need to adjust the relationship you have with your spiritual <laughs> father. Because at this point, spiritual fathers can change from spiritual fathers to another thing. To spiritual sugar daddy. Exactly. <laughs> the world we live in now, the enemy looks for any loophole. It, before, back in the days, you make you wait when the hole is big. Mm. Now, even if it's a dot, crack. there is a crack on the wall. He will force himself and enter. His, have you seen a cockroach passing a crack? Mm. There can be a crack on the wall and a cockroach will pass through. The enemy can change to anything. I'm not like saying literally cockroach. I say cockroach. Cockroach. <laughs> but then, the enemy can change to anything and come inside and cause havoc. And before you know, you you bite the fruit and you have you have gone, you have finished the fruit, you have even eaten from the tree. Nothing is remaining. Let's be so careful. Mm. Now, we're, if, if, if we want to talk about solutions now, these things have, these things have been here. They're always here. And the victims are always the young ladies mm. at the end of the day. Even though it's not the ladies that actually throw themselves at these pastors, people still end up seeing... It's your fault. The young ladies as well. I mm. feel like... At this point, the church needs to stand up and get serious. This is a very, very serious topic. Let's have bodies that manage problems like this. When a pastor is reported that he did this to this sister, let's have independent bodies 
that will come in and help us fix this problem. They will do thorough investigation. They're not siding anybody. They're not being biased. They act like the jury. They do thorough investigation, gather all of their facts, and then they pass judgment or verdict or whatever it is. If the pastor is found guilty, you would maybe suspend it. If the girl is found guilty, you know, find a way to... The judge needs to get serious about this thing because yeah, this is a because deep you problem. make pastors seem like they are almighty. They are not. They are yeah, human beings. Like they are too. almighty, so they can't really you get, so mess up or do something. They can make mistakes, yes. They can fall into temptation. Mm-hmm. It's fine. But then we must not make it look like they can do it and go scot free. Yeah. All the stories we've heard so far, they always go scot free. They always go scot free. They always go scot free. And it's not fair. It's not fair. So no matter what, now that's why we are even focusing on the ladies. Just run for your dear life. Don't even fall victim to no. start with because nobody is going to believe. Nobody is going to side you and you live in that pain for a very long time. Mm-hmm. So please, please and please, if you are listening to this, you would like to share your experience, kindly just drop a comment, you know, like and all of that. It might help somebody out there because, you know, the devil is really crafty. Not all pastors are like that, but there are some that are like that and they have different tactics. <laughs> Do you understand? So your own tactics may be, eh, he said, I should come, let's pray. Mm. They're from praying. Mm. He's touching your hand, touching your elbow, touching He's your chest. You and see, tight. Run. Tight, tight hug. I don't know where it, where the Holy Spirit said we should be hugging or touching in appropriate places where I pray for somebody. But please don't. There are certain things that we know that they are not godly. Yeah. Do you understand? So stay off of that. Any sign you see, stay off, off of it. So you can drop your cancels if you're listening to this. You can drop your testimonies of God, how um, of how God helped you to escape. And, you know, so many other things to help ourselves. You know, this is really a safe space for us. We can always talk about all of that stuff, you know, so that it will help so many people out there who are even innocent. Like I said, their eye have no open. Please listen and share with them so that they will know that, yes, it's Christians that are Christians who are telling you how things are in this generation so that you don't fall victim and you don't live in pain. We know so many people who smoke today. They are lesbians. They drink. They are drug addicts. Their life have scattered because of what one pastor did to them that they never recovered from. Yeah. So we care about you. We don't want your life to scatter. Please, please, and please run away. What is that? Hmm. What is this we have said? Run, no. Run. Run. Talk. And yeah, if you feel uncomfortable um, leaving a comment in the comment section, just send us an email, an anon- anonymous email to helloawtv at gmail.com and we'll go ahead and attend to your email and read it in our next podcast. This is AWOW TV, your number one gospel TV channel on YouTube and the entire internet space. Mm. We have exclusive videos in our video session every day. Do well to check them out. Share, comment, like turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out whenever we post our content including this podcast we post this podcast every friday on this channel you don't want to miss this podcast for anything so yeah if you have adverts that you want us to place on the podcast send us an email too to hello at gmail.com let your subject be adverts for a podcast and we'll go ahead and attend to you moving forward so sisters let's help ourselves we know that there's a bible verse that says in um, psalms 105 verse 15 it said do not touch my anointed one and do my prophet no harm we get that that still stands but if this anointed and prophet is moving on to you in, in an inappropriate way Please run. And when we say run, the first thing is be sure that this pastor is moving on to you inappropriately. Second, you can talk to a friend that you trust. Thirdly, you can talk to an adult that you trust. And then fourth, fourthly, when it gets too difficult, leave the church and go to another church. It's not by force. That by Your force. placenta is not in that church. So, okay, so before we leave you guys, we just want to read out this Bible passage for you guys. All right, so 1 Thessalonians 5.22 Abstain from all appearance of evil. Some other versions say stay away from every kind of evil. New International Version says reject every kind of evil. So reject it, withdraw, stay away, stay safe. Run away, stay safe. Until next time, bye-bye. This is the largest podcast. Your number one gospel entertainment podcast on the internet. Don't touch that dial. Kindly subscribe.